did all summer, but to see it play out in a game like that, just how, how good has that been with you too? Yeah, I think the chemistry between Shane and I was great. It was terrific tonight. Um, it's been great all offseason. We spent a lot of time really working on the game and working what we want to do. And we have a great mixture of all the great things we've done in the past. So we've done a lot of great things. Uh, we, we can't take that for granted. We've done some really, really special things over the years. And then we also, you know, all, all the things that Shane has done, you know, around the world. Uh, you know, he's with the Patriots. He's with, um, you know, the Shanahan tree or whatever. He was been with Sean McVay. And, you know, so I think he's got a great understanding of the game. He's so knowledgeable. I told you guys earlier in the week, he's like the wizard, you know. Um, so... And, and he's, you know, I have a lot of control too at the same time. So we're all working together. It's, it's a beautiful thing. Um, you know, it's, uh, it, it, it was a great game tonight, you know, and a great, really great defense too. I mean, that defense is one of the best in the league. Um, so I thought we played really well. I thought the line did a tremendous job. Give me enough time to make some throws and some really special things that guys were doing. Uh, deep ball to Tyler. That was really cool. Uh, right before the half, we, um, you know, DK on that seam route um, from, from on the left side, and just you know, um, all that hard work we've been putting in. I thought Gerald played great. I thought guys all touched the ball. It was a really exciting night, and I think the tempo that we played with. Um, I know you guys wanted to kind of see what we were going to do and this and that, but I thought we played with great tempo. I thought we also were, were, were able to control the game, but yet still be explosive, still get the ball out quick and, and do all the, the plethora of things that we can do. There's nothing we can't do. And so I think that it, um, it always starts with offensive line. They did a great job tonight. And then I think from there, we got a lot of playmakers. You know, we got a lot of guys that can catch the football and make plays and also run it really well. Chris Carson had a great night too, uh, running the ball physical too as well. So um, we can get better. That's a good thing. You know, that's the thing. And uh, every game is going to be a challenge. Um, we have we have a great schedule ahead of us, and um, you know to come out. You know, for me, I, I, I was telling C last night. It was uh, <clears throat> you know, and this morning, it's kind of surreal for me because I you know waking up across you know at the JW Marriott across the hotel, you know and, and looking over and seeing the stadium Lucas Oil. You know, I go back to you know sitting you know in that same similar position in a way, and wondering what God had for me. You know, wondering where I'd go, what would happen, and everything else roughly 10 years ago. And to be here, um, you know, 10th year going, coming in again and, and uh, to be with like, such a great team and just to be so grateful to be able to, to keep doing this, you know, what I love to do, um, to put so much time and energy to it all off season, all the hard work, everything that you've been doing and, and uh, the mindset of just around winning and what, what it takes to win and, and do everything we can. And um, it's kind of surreal to be here in year 10 again, right here, the first, you know, my first game here, you know, in year 10. So. Um, you know, I just I'm, I'm grateful that God's given me the opportunity to play this game, uh, to be around such great guys um, and coaches, and just um, just really enjoy it. And our fans were great tonight too. That was really cool to see all the fans back. You know, it was it was loud out there, and to have our fans there too to participate in it was really special. On home and yeah, we can definitely hear. We can always hear the Seahawks fans. You know, we can always hear the Twelves. They were loud as could be, especially at the end of the game, especially in certain moments when we hit those big touchdowns and everything else. They just they roar like no other. Um, so that was really special tonight too, as well. And um, um, you know, it's just cool to be back. You know, we haven't had fans for a year. You know, so uh, to be able to experience that again, to feel that again, home or away, it was really cool. And now we get to go back home, the, the best place in the world. And so uh, it, it'll be fun. How much more offense is there? How much did you? Only show today. <laughs> well, if I told you then, <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I can't tell you that. But that's a great question. Um, you no, know, there's so much we can do. I mean, we, we have a lot more that we can do, um, you know, to, to, to be really precise on everything we wanted to do tonight. Um, guys were hitting all their details. I mean, just the small details of what we wanted to do. Um, guys really taking the coaching points um, and kind of feeling what I'm seeing and everything else. And this is why we got to do it this way right here because it's going to, boom, there it is. Like the touchdown to DK, was, I mean, it was perfect. I mean, we spent probably an hour and a half one day on, on just seam routes and just spending time together early in the morning in San Diego. I mean, just it literally came to life. It, that's, that's like the best part, you know, when you get to spend that much time on stuff. and visualize and I'm watching on the film you're you know critiquing what I could have done different or that, that guy could have done different and hey if we do this like this it'll and then it shows up it's that's the, that's the mastery that we want to get to of, of, of the thought process and the plan and everything else and so it showed up tonight and you know the great thing is that was a huge win but it doesn't mean anything yet we got a lot more to do and uh, we, we want to keep improving on it and we want to keep growing off of that it shows what we can do against a great defense I mean you know I, I think they're one of the best defenses in the game you know the Colts and so to be able to do that tonight against a really good scheme that they have was really special for us if you have a defense take away something you're more equipped now than you've ever been to give something else to just take yeah, I think we're, we're equipped to do a lot of different things. And I think 
um, <clears throat> I think Shane's world and, 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 and also kind of where we're continually evolving, what we want to be able to do and all the pieces that we have and all the guys that we have, it's really cool because I think that um, – Obviously, we can take our shots. We can do the mid-range game. We can do the quick game. We can run the ball extremely well. We can mix it up. We can get on the edge. And there's really nothing we can't do. So I think that what we have to do is we, if we can continue on the details, you know, I think that, like I told you guys earlier in the year, I mean, we could be one of the best offenses, if not the best, in, the, in football. And so that's our mission. That's our goal. But more than anything else, the, the number one mission is to win every week. And so, um, you know, to be able to come out, come out year 10, uh, for for me personally, but then also too for our team to get back on track and to feel great about it and know know that we're going against a great playoff defense and play the way we did was really special. And, and the great thing is there's still some things we can do better. Second twenty, it's late to have some teams might just kind of be safe there and try to get to halftime. How much do you like that play call there to just? Yeah, I mean, I think um, you know anytime. Uh, you know, any time Tyler can uh, run real fast, it's a good thing. You know, he, uh, I just threw a deep high moon ball to him again, and he just runs right underneath it. You know, it's a pretty thing that he can do. Um, you know, that was a huge play for us. Um, you know, we had, I think, I think we had the screen right before that, I believe. I think mean, that was the same possession. And we got the holding call, I believe that was the same one. Um, and then, uh, so that was a big play. Then we came back and said, okay, what are we going to do now? And let's, let's, let's look for it, and if we find it, you know, look at it and, and throw it deep. And so uh, he made a great play. Uh, I thought he had a great game. To be, we always see the throw and the catch, but for that play to develop, the guys up front got to. Yeah, that. they showed me the the clip in the uh, in the locker room of, of that play. You know, with the deep ball to Tyler, and just how 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 good the protection was and how solid they were. And I was able to drop back and hold the defense and and kind of move and slide and kind of look away and and kind of do do my thing there and just let Tyler run underneath of it. You know, um, like I, I, I like I said, I, I think he's. I, think I said this outside, but he's kind of like a Willie Mays out there, man. He can run anything down. Maybe he's like maybe he's like Griffey. I don't know. He, Seattle thing, but uh, he he can really find the ball, track the ball really well, um, and that's that's one of the things he does best. When you guys were back up there, did, did you lobby to kind of keep the, the foot on the gas, or was Shane already in that mindset? Uh, when you said we're backed up, you mean just sure. second twenty before the small touchdown pass? Yeah, I mean I think we were both on the same page. I mean just. Play ball, you know. We we've still we've still had some time on the clock. Anytime there's time on the clock, it's a good thing, you know. It, it's possible, you know. So uh, that, that was a kind of our mindset there. Mm -hmm. To Tyler, what did you see there? They brought extra pressure, and it looks like that's a play that's not necessarily by design. And Tyler said he didn't necessarily know where the throw was going to be. So, so what was going through your mind there? Uh, well, not saying too much detail. Um, just film study, you know, honestly. You know, just knowing that. Uh, they, they do a great job disguising. Like I said, they're one of the top defenses, and they did a great job disguising and everything else. And I had a feeling that that's what they were going to do, go cover zero and kind of change it up a little bit. Sure enough, they did. Uh, key situation. Um, Tyler just does a great job. We've hit that before. Um, you know, I threw it high enough so he could react. Once again, I was really Willie Mays, Griffey thing, just give him a chance to track it down and, and find the ball. And he made a beautiful catch. And so um, it was another good job on the protection part of it, too, to give me enough time to get it off. Because if you notice, I think Leonard and somebody else was right, kind of right there. So I had to get it up off my wrist and get it to him. Um, and uh, I guess it's a al little alley-oop to Tyler. I don't know what <laughs> you want to call it. But uh, he, made, he made a great play. That needed to be figured out between you and Shane in this regular season was where he's going to call plays from. He was on the sidelines today. How did that benefit? How did you like having him there? Yeah, you know, it doesn't affect me either way if he's up top or sideline. But I, I think it's, you know, it's always cool when they're on the sideline just because they feel the energy. The coach, you know, the OC, you get to you get to feel the energy of you know when you're up there in the box and you get to see everything. But you know, when the guy scores a touchdown and then you don't get to you don't get to feel that part of it as much. Um, so that's that's really cool that interaction, that fun part of it all. Um, I think that that's what matters. And I think you know Austin Davis does a great job too. We're always talking, Gino and myself. We're always talking. You know, um, in Austin, all, all about plays and thoughts and ideas, um, and so the dialogue is really, really great. You know, I think that's that's the most important thing. We're always communicating. We're never taking a playoff. There's never a moment we're taking off um, when we're on the sideline, or whatever. We're trying to learn. We're trying to see something. We're trying to get a new idea, a new thought. And I think that's just, um, you know, that's what ball playing is about. You know, we're going to be out there for three and a half hours. Let's max out every second. Let's max out every minute. And so that's what we were able to do. With DK, uh, he obviously didn't have a target in the first half, but then really got going. Was there? An emphasis on trying to include him more as the game went on, or what was your thought there? We're always trying to include DK. I mean, he's such a great player, you know. Um, they, they were, you know, we they were kind of doubling the first, really the first, uh, first quarter. I think they ran like 
10 minutes, 11 minutes off the clock. So we didn't, we didn't really have the ball the, f the first quarter. Second quarter, we had the ball a little bit more. We tried to get them the ball, but they covered them on a few of them. They, they double teamed them or whatever. Um, and so we found other guys that were just open. And that's the good thing. We got a lot of guys that can catch and make plays. Um, you know, Disley made a sweet catch. He made a great one. It's good to get him the ball, a few other guys. Um, so that's just kind of how it played out in the second half. Um, you know, they're trying to find different ways to stop us, and we were able to uh, get, get him the ball and let him do his thing. And so that touchdown that he caught was a beautiful thing. What did you think of Disley's stiff arm? Oh, that was sweet. He just kind of threw him by, manhandled him, threw him by. Uh, he's been doing that, you know, since the first game he ever played. You know, I remember in Denver, the first game, I hit him across the middle on the on the post route, and he just kind of threw everybody off of him. You know, he's a, you know, I don't know if it's a Montana thing or what, but he, he's, he's able to do it. Examples you think of, of the work that you guys do in the offseason paying off? Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what it is. I think the details of that route and the, that play and that thought process and the angle of it, I mean, it's, it's, it was to perfection. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a teach tape one, you know, just to know, you know, what he's seeing, what I'm seeing, you know, all the, the whole thing coming together. It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful puzzle, you know, and you have to be able to put it all together. And that's what makes football so exciting and so special from my vantage point is because it all works together, you know, it all comes together. Um, from the from the guys up front block and doing a great job to to the guys running their routes and being precise and being able to move the safety and come back to, you know it's just all of that coming back coming together as one um, made that special and his timing on that was was perfect. Under center more open up uh, more options for the offense. Yeah, I think you know we can mix it up from the gun under center. We can do all the things we want to do from running the ball to passing it to uh, throwing it quick to th taking our shots. You know, I think all those. Um, Scenario. So we want to keep the, the defense guessing. We want to constantly have them question who's getting the ball, where's it going, what, what are they doing, and we were able to do that tonight. So, um, and I think that's what we can really bring, to, you know, to this season. How do you feel that the defense is on the hills or guessing? What does that look like in a game? <laughs> yeah, it, it's interesting because, you know, you can you can kind of smell, uh, you know, uh, you can kind of smell the blood in the water in a way when the defense gets you know tired or they're thinking and process. And so to be able to sense that, feel that, know that, to go after it. Um, I think that's always a good thing um, in staying in that attack mode, you know, and uh, that's what we're able to do. That's why we're get, able to get a huge win. What did you think of how it worked out? What did you guys think of I thought it was really smooth. I thought everything that we did up tempo was great. I thought we executed on everything, every play that we wanted. Um, and, uh, you know, it's something that I've always loved and it's something I've always been, I think, f pretty great at. You know, I think that we can, you know, as we continue to, to to do that, it's going to really be challenging on the defense, you know, but also, too, able to slow it down and change it up and do all those things, too. So the good thing is we can call anything, you know, uh, no huddle, tempo, all that. We can call every play we have in the playbook and knowing and, and really challenging the defense in that sense, and that's what we did tonight. Gerald said the first option on, on his touchdown. I, I mean, is that an example, I guess, of how guys can get – I mean, everybody can sort of get open in this, and either the guys have the first option. Yeah, for sure. You know, I, I kind of moved the defense away, and then here – Disley was really kind of number one, kind of looking at him, and then here comes the guy underneath. Here, that was that was Gerald, and Tyler was number number four in the progression. Boom, here he comes around. So I think I think that um, – I think that that was just uh, you know perfect play call you know and just um, perfect situation for Gerald. He's got great hands, so you just flick it to him. He'll catch it easy, and he made a great play against Leonard and got in there. First unit not playing at all in the preseason. Uh, were you surprised you were able to click so well in the first game, or did you see that developing in camp? I saw it developing in camp. You know, I, last year. I mean, people talk about the preseason how. You know how important it is, and everybody questions it. You know, and it, and it is important, especially for guys like myself who, you know, trying to get. You know, when I was, you know, a rookie or young guy trying to get get in there, I think that when we have mature guys and guys who really take their job serious in the off season along the way, um, I mean, we, we take our job very serious, and all the time that we spend, like I, you know, I mentioned earlier, you know, all the time we spend on details and talking ball and all the Zoom calls too, and all the conversations, all the texts, and all the study and all the work in San Diego or you know California, wherever we are, it's just like all that time. And then we, when we get together, we're going to be intentional. We're not going to waste any moments, any time. And that's part of my job too, right? Is making sure that you know that if we're going to do something, we're going to do it at the highest, highest level every day. There is no other option. And so I think that. Um, for us in practice, <clears throat> you know, every day is a championship practice. We're preparing for something. I mean, that's just that's just our mentality. So, the reps that we get in practice should feel harder and almost better than the game. And that's just 
that's how we want to make it every time. And so, um, you know, and also too, you know, and you know, usually in preseason, you know, may only get one possession, you may only get five plays, I and mean, five plays are going to make or break your season. I think the biggest thing though is all of us being healthy, being ready to roll. I think that was really key for us, um, and that was really great for us along the way too as well. And so, we felt great. I think a lot of it was a lot of the time that we spent, you know, you know, talking and communicating and doing that really well, and uh, and guys just spending time working. You know, it's you can't mistake the work. I mean, that's just that's just what it is. Anything else, guys? Thanks, Russ. Thank you guys so much. Go Hawks. Yep, thank you.